Good morning, my friends. So it is finally happening. $750 stimulus payments have been confirmed. These new relief checks will be going out very soon to all eligible Americans. The new fourth stimulus check timeline is also now being negotiated on, including when the next payments will be going out and who will be eligible for this check. Please do make sure that you watch until the end of this video to learn all about the details that you need to know. Also, please share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable stimulus news. If you would like to enter next Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, when I will be giving away three $75 Walmart gift cards, please listen for the key word from this video. You invested in America. In fact, you passed the biggest investment of rebuilding the nation in history. Now, it's true we got some Republicans, friends, to help on the, for, on the recovery, on, excuse me, on the Infrastructure Act. But we're talking how many in the House? 12, 13, 14 or something, whatever it was? 13. I mean, come on. I was happy for them. Don't get me wrong. And then every one of them got attacked. Look, have, but have you noticed that every new bridge, every trench dug to put in the take, to take out lead pipes, every trench dug, there's a Republican standing there saying, this is a great thing. <laughs> Wonderful. We did it. Even Mitch McConnell, for God's sake. You know, as we say in my outfit, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. This has been so much since the last confession. Look, the simple fact is, this infrastructure bill is going to transform America. I mean, not figuratively, literally transform America. That's already started. So, friends, here is some good news. The state of Maine taxpayers could be receiving a direct check for $750 from the state as part of a proposal from Governor Janet Mills' supplemental budget. This is thanks to an expected upgrade to the state's general fund from the Revenue Forecasting Committee. The upgrade is expected to be nearly $412 million. Governor Janet Mills says that she wants to give half of the new revenue projections back to Maine residents, which amounts to about $206 million. That's in addition to the $412 million that she previously proposed to give back, racking up a total of $616.8 million to be given out to 800,000 eligible Maine taxpayers, something that the governor's administration says is consistent with the calls of Republican lawmakers. Maine state officials have said in a statement, these new revenue projections come during uncertain economic times nationally, just in last week's, the cost of oil has increased from $72 to over $100 per barrel. Inflation, as measured by the Consumer Price Index, has reached its highest point in 40 years. The Maine State Legislature still has to approve the governor's proposal. And if approved, direct checks are expected to go out very soon. Which is really awesome news, friends, for those of you that reside in the state of Maine. According to the Biden administration, consumer prices are rising at their fastest pace in decades, and that inflation has been most acute in household staple items like food, housing, and transportation, making it very hard to escape the budgetary sting. The consumer price index jumped nearly 8% in February relative to a year earlier. That is the largest 12-month increase since January of 1982. The United States Department of Labor has said that shelter, gasoline, and food were the largest contributors to the increase in overall prices in February. These three categories were the three largest components of household budgets in 2020. Together, they accounted for 63% of total expenses. So friends, what are your thoughts on the rising inflation and please let me know how it's affecting you. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comments section below. There's still more than a month until the April 18th tax deadline, but many Americans have already received their tax refunds from the Internal Revenue Service. 
nearly 38 million taxpayers have received tax refunds, averaging $3,401. According to the IRS, if you file your tax return electronically and use direct deposit, you should receive your refund in about 21 days. But even if you do everything right, you could still find yourself waiting for your money to arrive from the IRS. The 21-day estimate might be accurate for the average tax filer, but a variety of factors can hold up your tax refund. So when you file your tax refund, it is important to check any information that you've included to make sure it's accurate. Also, if you received child tax credit payments last year, please make sure that the amount on letter 6419 matches the amount that you received. If an incorrect amount is entered, the IRS will need to further review your tax return, which the agency says will result in extensive delays. But friends, if there is a problem that needs to be fixed after you submit your return, the IRS will first try to proceed without contacting you. That means it could be days or even weeks before you know that there is a problem. Friends, the key word for this video is excellent. If you would like to enter next Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like my videos. Comment below each keyword from each video of mine that you watch. And please do make sure that you are also subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. If you owe back taxes to the IRS, the agency may take some or all of your tax refund to pay off that debt. If your refund contains more money than you owe, you will receive the remaining balance via direct deposit or check in the mail, but it could also be delayed. This year, the IRS is encouraging all taxpayers to file electronically and set up direct deposit to receive your refunds back more quickly. With mail delays, it could take a while for the IRS to receive your return in the mail and even longer to issue a paper check. Well, my friends, that is the end of this daily stimulus update video. Thank you very, very much for joining me here this morning. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. And I hope you all found this video helpful. The three winners of this past Friday's $75 Walmart gift card giveaway are Linda Davenport, James Bell, and Katrina Britty. Congratulations to the three of you. Remember friends that if you would like to enter the giveaway, which is scheduled for next Friday, you simply have to click and like my videos. Comment below the keyword from each video that you watch. And please do make sure that you are also subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much friends and have a wonderful and blessed Sunday.